Shares of Kyogen hurt higher this morning after announcing it'll begin sales of a portable COVID-19 test in the U.S., one that will be able to process up to 30 swab samples in just 15 minutes. Kyogen CEO Thierry Bernard joins us uh, once again. It's great to have you back, Thierry. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. Uh, the week has been so chock full of news on the therapeutic and vaccine front that we've sort of let testing go by the wayside. Uh, and that's going to be a lot more important very much in the near term before we can get big uh, swabs of the population uh, vaccinated. Yes, I agree with you. And uh, to start with, I would say that uh, it uh, would be probably stupid to try to oppose uh, testing and vaccinating. Both uh, goes together. You test and you treat. We all welcome, obviously, uh, the arrival of vaccines against coronavirus-19 and efficient vaccines. But that doesn't mean that uh, testing will stop. We do have needs for testing. You know that the virus is still out there. It's circulating very fast. And we have plenty of examples of other uh, transmittable diseases where you do have a good combination of vaccines and test flu for example we have flu vaccines for years every winter you continue to test for flu hpv is another one you have a vaccine for hpv you do test for hpv as well so i think we should see it as an efficient bundle against the coronavirus rather than opposing both yes so talk to me about the innovations on this new test uh portable digital uh, point of care, um, where are the advances and where do you think the bottlenecks will remain uh, once this is deployed? Well, I mean, as you know, um, Kayagen focuses on developing uh, molecular testing solutions uh, for uh, many application infectious diseases, oncology. And for the beginning or from the beginning of this uh, pandemic, I believe that we have probably developed the most comprehensive portfolio of solutions. Um, of testing solutions for coronavirus. For labs all over the world that are developing their own tests, we have those extraction of nucleic acid wide range of solution, but we have also PCR tests, rapid PCR tests, some addressing or target targeting only the coronavirus, some that we call syndromic, where you can not only test for coronavirus, but also against other syndromic um, uh, potential uh, infectious diseases. But as we said before, the virus continues to circulate in Europe, in the US. So we need to find solutions that are coming closer to the patient, that are helping government to decentralize testing, and obviously that are also providing faster results. And this is exactly Thier what our new test, antigen test, is going to provide. It's a very easy to use test. I'm not sure that you can see it, but it's better than showing it. It's a very portable hub. You see, it's very light. It's less the size of your laptop. And inside that hub, you can insert a very simple cartridge that I'm showing here. You can insert eight cartridges at a time in that portable hub and run them uh, in parallel. So eight cartridges at a time. You can get results between two minutes for a very strong positive signal to 15 minutes uh, at, the, at the latest for a negative uh, test. And the um, uh, hub that I showed you is portable, as you said, not only very light, but bat battery operated. So you can basically use it in very remote areas. But you can also obviously plug it in a computer and send your results automatically to the laboratory information system uh, uh, that is using it. Terry, this seems like it will have a huge potential in so many different scenarios with such rapid results. I'm curious what the pricing is. And if you imagine this being the kind of thing that, say, an airline would invest in um, to test all their passengers before they got, get on an airplane, is this going to be deployed to schools or something that concerts use to test people before they walk into a concert venue? And how does the pricing fit into the potential use cases? Yeah, that's a very good question. So at the moment, we are uh, uh, submitting to the uh, FDA for what we call, uh, uh, to make it very simple, laboratory usage. But in the coming two weeks, we will have what we call a point of care also claim, which will help that decentralization. Uh, before going to this antigen test in particular, 
I must say that this COVID-19 pandemic is proving the crucial importance of testing in the healthcare value chain. And what we see uh, from the beginning of the year is testing outside of the core labs. You said it yourself, airports, Kayagen has PCR solution now installed at airports. We have testing PCR solution in cruise, for example, ships, anywhere where you have big congregation potentially of population. So this will be obviously a key solution for those kind of, uh, of testing. Right. Now to your question. Uh, along those lines, in the West, geography wise, who do you see doing the best job at frequent pervasive testing of even asymptomatic people and how have they managed to do it? Well, uh, that's a tough question to ask to me, but I would say, first of all, we have received extraordinary support for all the governments in support in, in, in the world. I think that uh, um, uh, between Europe and the US, uh, um, uh, Germany had had a very efficient testing strategy, but in the US, we have a great collaboration with HSS and different agencies to try to basically spread out testing capabilities. I think every government have really try, has really tried to step up to the challenge. To the question of to the question of prices of prices, first of all, Kayagen has a very, very strong motto. It is to leave no one behind. Uh, emerging countries, developed countries, this antigen test will uh, uh, have to be cheaper and therefore more affordable than a PCR test. Pricing will depend upon volumes, but it's going to be made available and affordable for very large settings and decentralized settings. Thierry, uh, we applaud any innovation and development that helps uh, the world get back to, to normal and normalize the economy. Thanks for the time. We'll talk to you again. Thierry Bernard. Thank you so much. Thanks for having us. Thank you.